Hi everyone, I'm Karthik Raitraj, Principal System Architect with Kinetica. Today we're going to see how you can forecast new car sales using Kinetica user-defined functions. A user-defined function is any algorithm, model, or custom logic that can be packaged as a function and deployed directly within Kinetica. The concept is a computer grid concept. These functions will now be able to leverage the parallel processing power of the GPUs and execute in a fraction of the time that it will execute when, when using CPUs. UDFs allow the way for machine learning and data science workloads to be performed in database and take advantage of the GPUs themselves. Both AI and BI workloads can now be brought together onto the same platform with Kinetica. UDFs allow a conduit between the data scientists who develop them and the business users who use them. UDFs could be simple uh, algorithms such as linear regression or random forest, or it could be machine learning, it could be written in machine learning libraries such as TensorFlow, Cafe, or Bitmark, or it could be predictive, predictive models such as risk management models, fraud detection models, or models that predict sales volume. Now we'll see a simple demo on how you can forecast new car sales using Kinetica UDFs. For this demo, we are using a simple regression model, which has one dependent variable, which is a combination of the make and model of the car and an independent variable, which would be the quantity sold. For this purposes of this modeling, we are using 10 years of historical car sales, and we are going to forecast the next two years. For the purposes of this model to work, we need a minimum of three data points. Okay, so let's go to the demo. What I have here is a linear regression algorithm that's been deployed as a user-defined function within Kinetica. To create this algorithm, I can either use the UI which a power user can do. I can specify the name of my procedure, the name of my function, the arguments, and the files that are needed to execute this. To execute it, all I have to do is choose this and, and hit the execute button and specify the parameters it needs and then execute it. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to execute it from a reveal dashboard, which is, one of, which is the dashboard that comes with Kinetica. So the first thing I would like to do is to choose a make and model of a car that I need to run my analytics on. So let's choose Ford and let's choose the model Ford Mondeo. So as you can see, the Ford Mondeo sales ebbs and flows, right? So it's obviously it was doing very well in 2008. Um, in 2013, the sales dropped to a minimum, but then after that, there's been a little bit of up and up and down for the sales of the car. So let's try and run the linear regression algorithm on the Ford Mondeo model and predict the next two years sales and sort by the month. So when I sort by the month, you can see for the month of one, which is January, the, the model sold an average of 247 cars. But for 2018 and 2019, you can see that the quantity has reduced significantly. It's, it's predicted to be 32 cars sold in, two, in 2019. Going further down, if you can see that for the month of July, um, the average car sales is around 300, but the number of quantities sold in 2018 that would be sold in 2018 is just 10 cars, and in 2019 it's predicted to be predicted to be zero. So obviously, Ford, this model of Ford Mondeo, is not doing so well, right? So if Ford has investment dollars to make, it probably wouldn't. Um, invest it in this model. It probably would be wise in investing in some other model of car, right? Now let's perform the same calculation on a different on a different make model. Let's now choose the Volvo and choose the Volvo XC60 model. So for this Volvo XC60 model, you can see that the sales again ebbs and flows, but the later part of the 10-year uh, limit, the 10-year data that we have, you can see that the sales has shot through the roof, right? So let's see um, Let's run the uh, linear regression model and forecast the car sales for 2018 and 2019. And then like we did before, let's sort by the month. So for the month of January, you can see that the average sales is 177, but the predicted sales for 2018 and 2019 are 236 and 245 respectively. So obviously the sales have increased. More specifically, if you look at the holiday season, the Christmas season, um, for the month of 12, which is December, the average sales is 379, but the pro projected sales in uh, 2019 December is 626. 
So someone told me that the Volvo XC60 has a seatbelt problem. So obviously that's not affecting their car sales, right? So if Volvo has um, money to invest in, it probably needs to first fix the seatbelts problem, but it also can invest in this model because it's selling very, very well, right? So that's a short demo of how uh, the Kinetica UDFs work and how you can use the UDFs to forecast new car sales. Thank you for your time.